Hey guys, I'm Will Bender, and today I'll be doing a video that has been highly, highly requested of me. And the only reason why I haven't done it any sooner is because I really wanted to make sure I got all of my information ready so I can give you guys the most quality video tutorial on this as possible. And as you can see by the screen, we will be talking about none other than the Archangel set. Through this video, we will be talking about all of the requirements, all of the mat requirements needed to make the Archangel set. We'll also be going over all the possibilities for you to get a 100% golden chance using Advanced Obsidian. We're also going to go over uh, the different uh, random attributes that each one of these can get and which one is more prioritized. And then at the end, I'm going to give some tips of the trade so that you guys can have a clear idea of how to make this entire set without spending any money. So let's just get right on into this is going to be a much larger video than my normal ones. Let's just get right into all the material requirements. So first of all, the Archangel set is a reform set. You're going to have to make a different set before you can start working on Archangel. And of course, if we go over to our forging area, we are looking at the Holy Asylum set. So before you begin anything, you need to make a gold version of all of these items here. The entire set is required. So for example, if I have my Asylum ring, then I can go on over here to the reform set and thus make an archangel ring. You can see by the plus sign here, if I, I can add in my asylum piece ready to go. And thus I can begin forging so long as I have all the material requirements, the blueprints, the angel wings, the, the two blacksmith materials, as well as the uh, holy asylum set piece ready to go. So you need all of those things before you can begin. So you'll notice here at some of the requirements that you're going to need things such as horns or garnets in this case. There are 12 different materials. I'm actually going to make sure I'm counting that right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yes, there are 12 different types of blacksmithing materials that you will need to make these sets. Let's go ahead and start it and look at the requirements for the Holy Asylum set. And you're going to notice a huge difference between the Holy Asylum requirements and the Archangel one. So pay close attention. For the Asylum set, you will need a total of two jades, three herbs, herb, herb, whatever, three bronze, two fur, two maple, three garnet, two bone, three cobalt ore, three fabric, two horns, three rhodonites, and two ambers. That, uh, that, that comes out to 30 different uh, pieces of materials, but you can see that it's pretty evenly distributed, either it's two or three. The Archangel set is not quite as forgiving. Let's look at the Archangel's requirements for blacksmith materials. You need 4 cobalt, 5 bronze, 15 horns, 3 amber, and 3 garnet. Now you can see that that is a much bigger requirement needed. So all in all, for both the Holy Asylum and the Archangel, you'll need 2 jade, 3 herbs, 8 bronze, 2 fur, two maple, six garnet, two bone, seven cobalt, three fabric, 17 horn, three rhodonite, and five amber. So that's a total of 60 pieces of material all together. And typically you're gonna wanna use the gold version of these. The only time I would ever suggest not using the gold version of these is with horn because 17 horn is annoying to get. So just use it, use it wisely and make sure that um, you're always maximizing your potential to get a 100% golden version, which we're going to get into right now. So I, what I want to do is I want to show you guys every single possibility that you can get uh, a 100% gold version of the Archangel set. With that said, I will say that you will want to forge all gold Holy Asylum for this. So if I go on over here to my Archangel set, and we're going to work on the ring because that's what I have all the materials for. You can see that right now I have all of the material requirements, 100 blueprints, 100 archangel wings, as well as two horn and three garnets. If I have all of that, you can see that if I add my ring, I have a 100% rate and I don't have to add any advanced obsidian. Now what is advanced obsidian? Advanced obsidian is used um, to increase the odds of making a 100% golden piece. So let's say if I didn't have all gold, uh, materials. And I'm actually going to show you guys a screenshot right now. So for this example, I'm going to show you guys uh, what it looks like if you have all orange pieces with the exception of the ring. 
As you can see here, you need 71 blueprints, 71 archangel wings, and then three uh, orange garnet and three of the orange horns. With that, you would need a an advanced obsidian level seven. I'm sorry, level eight. I said that wrong. Level eight. So level eight in here would compensate for the lack of gold materials that I have. And right now, the only place to really get a lot of advanced obsidian is by doing your first clear of the dragon trials uh, once per week. I usually do them on Mondays. You can get about 45 level ones, and then you can synthesize them over. So use them sparingly, because that's really the biggest place to get them. Don't worry about the mithril vein. Don't go there for that. It, you, you need other things. So let's go over every single possible uh, possibility to get a 100% reforge. And before we continue, I do want to mention this. All of these possibilities are uh, with the blacksmith hero's ability to make a 4% increase in, in uh, gold. I'm actually going to take a screenshot right now. I'm going to show you guys on the screen. If you hit this, your next piece has a 4% uh, added chance at becoming gold. So let's say I have 96% chance to become gold. If I hit that talent, it instantly becomes 100%. If it's only 90, it becomes 94. So all of these, um, all these screenshots I'm about to show you are with that buff enabled. So we see here, if we have all orange pieces, you need a level eight obsidian. With the next one here, you see that I added two gold horns. With that, you still need a level eight obsidian. The next one here, you see that I've added three garnet on top of three gold horns. Still, level eight obsidian. Nothing really is changing yet. Until we do this one. Now you're gonna see that I do 100 blueprints and the rest are orange. Now we're down to a level six obsidian. You, know, you can, you can kind of see what's being prioritized here. Those blacksmith mats are kind of easy to come by usually, but the 100 prints, and you'll see later with the wings, will actually drastically decrease the amount of, a, of, a, of, a, of advanced obsidian that you need. So with the next possible outcome, we have 100 blueprints that are obviously gold with 100, and then two gold horns. That is also a level six obsidian. But with the next one here, we have everything gold with the exception of the wings, and that's only a level five obsidian. So that's a very attractive option if you have a lot of blueprints and not that many wings. With the next set of possibilities, we're gonna show what it looks like to have 100% uh, angel wings. You can see with only 100% angel wings and the rest being orange, six, uh, a level six advanced obsidian. With the next one, we add 100 blueprints drastically decreases it a level three advanced obsidian i would never do this one <laughs> but i just want to show you all the possibilities but don't do this one now the next one here shows 100 uh angel wings and two gold horns that's a level six obsidian now with this next one we see that we have everything gold with the exception of the blueprints that's a level five obsidian and those are all of the possibilities. You'll notice that I didn't add in an orange, um, uh, an orange holy asylum piece. That's because we're not really going to work with that. You need a, you need level nines and level ten the advanced obsidians for that. And really, if you have to go that high, it's not worth it. So just focus on those possibilities, as those are the biggest ones that you need to focus on. Now, with that said. There are also chances, I'm gonna switch back to my normal screen now. You'll see that I have a times one down below me. If I were to hit the times two, you see that everything doubled. Everything doubled, all of the requirements. But what changed? Down below where you see the blue random attributes, now I have a 100% chance to get a random attribute, a 50% chance to get a second one, and a 5% chance to get a third one. If I go back to the level one, you see just getting the bare essentials, you only have a level, you only have a 50% chance to get the first attribute. And then it goes down to five and one for the second and the third. And if you really want to get nuts, times five, all of the requirements are times five. You can't see it, but that gives you a 100% chance to get all three random attributes. You might be asking yourself, what are random attributes? If you hit this little exclamation point here, you see all the possible random attributes that come with this set item. Some of the bigger ones on here are infantry received damage or all of these spear infantry's crit chances or damage. Those are good ones. The bad ones you don't really want is maybe the occult speed ups and whatnot. So what I wanted to do really quick while I have you guys, I'm going to rate all six of these items in level from most important to least important to prioritize getting random attributes. 
Now, these are all arguable, but I've asked a lot of people and they all pretty much agree with me on this with a couple of deviations, but this is my opinion on what the best uh, ones to work on are. The top one you want to work on is your weapon. Why is that? Because there's four really good options uh, out of the seven possibilities. That's a really good, um, it's a really good chance of getting a good one. Also, it has some of the best ones on here, such as archer attack, infantry attack, or whole troop attacks. Those are really good to get on here. Now, don't let anyone fool you. You can actually get double or even triple of the same attribute. So for example, you could get three archer attacks or three whole troop attacks. My arctic weapon has double archer attacks. So I've seen it happen, it works on this too. It's very nice to try and roll for. So if you really wanna roll for a, for a times two on this one, this one might be the one you wanna start with. The next best one is with the boots and I'll explain why it holds one of the most coveted of all attributes to get. If I click on this, the very bottom one is called Archer Basic Attack. Top high end, top one hundred, top 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 one percentile players will tell you that is one of the most coveted of all attributes to get. It ups the basic attack number of your troop, which and then would turn the percentages even higher. So if I had a one hundred um, base attack and my archer attack is 500%, then I increase the basic attack by 5, that's 105 damage by 500%. It goes up a lot bigger. It's I, I could go into the, the, the math of it, but hopefully you guys have basic math down you understand what I'm talking about. But other good ones to get on here is infantry basic defense, that's really good, archer basic defense, and uh, the rally upper limits are good, the marching upper limits are good. There are six really good items on here out of the ten, so that's why I prioritize that number two. Actually, one of my good friends got the Archer Basic Attack just today, and he got really happy about that. The next best one, the third best one, is the Ring. The Ring here has Archer Damage, which is very good, but then it also has, for the higher-end players, Spear, Infantry, Crit Damage, and Chance. When you throw those T9 Infantry into your loop when you have the stats, those are really good. If you guys have ever played any MMO, crit is really important. The one I have on mine is infantry receive damage, and that's one of the rarest ones to get to. Also really good attributes. So this is the third best one to prioritize. The next one is the chest. Now the chest doesn't have too, too many good ones on here. I'm sorry, no, I'm looking at the next one. This one actually does have a lot of good ones. Archer receive damage, infantry receive damage, all enemy units defense, whole troop defense and all those archer defense infantry defenses those are all really really good the only problem is that there's so many different ones on this one and you have th stuff like total resource income which is very likely to get siege engine receive damage is not all that good siege engine defense so there are some duds in this one and there's a lot of possibilities so if you're looking for one specific thing good luck trying to get it that's why i prioritize this one just a little bit lower the pants are the next um lowest one and really here the only thing I'm looking at that's good is infantry basic attack cavalry basic attack and then the defensive damages the rest are nice but why are you gonna spend so much money to hopefully get one of those four things the turret attacks nice if you're going to get up against dual people the, the infantry I mean the um, the hospital caps are good but it doesn't warrant using all of those materials to try and get a random roll so that's why I prioritize that one second to last and then the very last one that I would say is good is this one here. And really that's because there's only two good ones, offensive damage taken and offensive damage, which are really good attributes, trust me. Also one of the most highest uh, ones to get. But if you're spending all those resources, look at the other ones here, prestige, badge, consumption, building speed, elite, legion, consumption training. No, no, it's to me that, that, that's not worth it. This is a battle set and I only want battle things. And there's only two good ones on here. so. That's why I prioritize that one the least. So, before I go into the tips, let's just quickly go over what you can expect to see in your daily struggles of finding blueprints and angel wings. Blueprints on average, like I said, you can only really rally level 30, well, level 30 Neon Beast is what you should be rallying, uh, if you can. And if you max out all three of those, you're looking at about two angel wings per day. If you have Crusader rallies, uh, actually, I'm gonna make sure I'm saying that right for you guys. If I go into my items, 
reward scroll all the way down these little guys crusade order that gives you another chance to rally a Nian beast so if you're maxing out all of those every day check you see i haven't uh you you're looking at average two angel wings per day and the holy badges is much bigger because you can also get holy badges not only from Nian beasts but from level 25 to 30 monsters just go after level 30 monsters so if you do your three Nian beasts and you attack between five and six level 30 monsters a day you are averaging between 15 and 18 holy badges which is really big so keep that in mind as i go over these five really good tips for all players out there for this tip number one always use 100 holy badges why because you're averaging 15 to 18 per day in one week's time you'll have 100 which is the exact number you need to get the gold amount when you're making it if you guys need any more proof if i go over here i have 158 angel wings in the ready and over 1000 holy badges never use anything less conserve those uh advanced obsidians always use 100 holy badges even if you're just beginning the game always use 100. now the next one is i want you guys to max out your equipment science if you go over here into your college you'll notice you have one area in the middle here called equipment you'll notice i have almost all that maxed out why is that because you have things like this shoe master make your shoes more powerful skill and leg armor make your pants more powerful all the way at the bottom make your equipment more powerful i kid you not i had arctic set i had an arctic set on about eight nine months ago whenever it came out i forgot when it came out and my stats went up when i maxed out all of these some people don't even know about these things over here so max out every last one of them weapon ring helmet pants shoes what have you get the last one down here because even if you've already made equipment, like I've already said, it will retroactively make them more powerful and will also apply that power to your future equipment. So max this out. You really want to get the most out of what you're doing here. So max that out. The next thing you want to max out is your workshop over here. This little guy over here, you want to max, you want to hit all of these slots. There should not be a single slot that is not purchased. Get all of them. I'm going to suggest do all horns because as we said before you need a total of 17 horns to make your uh both your holy asylum and your archangel so unless you are really low on something like fabric or cobalt and that's your next piece to make this should always be filled up as you can see i always struggle with that i only have six golden horns and i need a lot more <laughs> I need I need 11 more golden horns. So max out your workshop. Always put in horns unless you're trying to make something. Now, we're going to talk about the mineral vein for a second. If you guys don't know what the mineral vein is, every other week, your kingdom competes over four different types of territories. And then in the end, you get to gather from the mineral vein. One of those items, which isn't listed over here, is... Um, I'm sorry. No, it isn't. One of the items that isn't listed over here is the ability to get uh, blueprints. Now, the blueprints are what you want to get 99% of the time. Uh, with an 18 million plunder, you can get 36 uh, prints. Now, you can maximize uh, the, amount, the, the type of prints you want to get by only focusing on, like, shoes or pants or whatever or weapons. So if you only focus on one, you can get 36 of a specific type of print, or you can shotgun it and get, um, and get a whole bunch of them. What they'll try to do is they'll get you to try and uh, mine out advanced obsidian. You don't get much of it. Don't waste it. And they'll also try and tempt you with angel wings. There are, there are times when the, when the border mineral vein attack uh, thing goes off that it will say that this vein prioritizes angel wings. I've done that before. I've gathered that before. You only get 12. It's the equivalent of a $10 pack. If you're like this close to making a piece and you just need those wings, I can understand why you'd want to go that route. But mostly you're going to want to get the blueprints because in two of these things, which is one month, you'll have enough to have at least 71 of the um, 71 blueprints. Because as you're attacking monsters, as you're doing your hero trials, which every single time you do that, oh, I haven't done it today, sorry. Every time you do it, you get uh, 10 of whatever. 10 of whatever, 10 of whatever, you can do that. Hero recruitment. You can also have a chance of getting that in the hero recruitment. 
in the common one you can get shards and in the advanced you can get whole prints which is not show there it is you can get whole prints so between all of those things that you're doing and then the mineral vein you should absolutely have at least 71 prints of something at the end of one month so there's that now the last thing that i'm going to talk about which is pretty easy is only do level 30 neon beasts every time you do a neon beast you will get a possibility of getting angel wings and holy badges and, and, and other things but you only want to do level 30s because they have the most uh gear pool and i've seen uh, i'm sorry well not gear pool but material pool and i've gotten the most luck out of 30s whenever i'm doing it if a if a very strong p5 or a p6 is initiating the rally just join them you won't have that many losses uh, i try to be that person for my alliance even though there's two people who are much stronger than me but they're not always online so i always do that for them so that's pretty much the entire archangel video i've gone on pretty long enough i've gone over the different places where you can get these things um at um i know i probably missed a couple of things like if you're gathering in your resources you see that i have um amber so you can get those types of things when you're gathering resources uh you see when i'm in the mine you get a lot more and everything so uh those are places you can get like your horns or your ambers or, or, or stuff but that's really the long and the short of it. just make sure you're also doing your your dragon trial the first week you get uh advanced obsidian in there and there you get 45 of those so yeah just prioritize that I, I, i'm not going to really suggest which route you guys go like from all the possibilities with with the with the advanced obsidian it's really on a case-by-case -case basis so choose whatever route you want to choose. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments below. I usually get back to you within 24 hours. I mean, I work full time, I'm doing school these days, but I still answer you guys. And I really want to make this a good video for you all. But yeah, let me know if you have any comments below, um, if you have any questions down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And as always, I will see you on the battlefield. If I be